Hello friends welcome back to fun with ananya so today we will be creating a stopwatch using a mighty app inventor so now let's see how to create it so first let's open a mighty app inventor to open a mighty app inventor go to your google chrome browser and type mit app inventor click on the first link and click on create apps So this is how it looks like. I am going to click on start new project so that we can create a project and give it a name. So let me give it as stop watch and click on OK so that our project is created. So now you can see that a project is created with the name stopwatch. The first thing we are going to do is to drag a vertical arrangement from layout. So go to layout and drag a vertical arrangement. Now in the properties section, let's change the height and width to fill parent and click on OK. Let's change the background color to orange and the vertical and horizontal alignment to center. Then let's add a horizontal arrangement and change its width to fill parent. The horizontal and vertical alignment to center and the background color to this and click on done then let's add three labels from user interface label 1 label 2 and label 3 let's change the text of label 1 to 0 the text color to white and the font size to 40 change the same properties of label 2 and label 3 as I did for label 1. So here I have changed the font size to 40, text to 0 and text color to white for label 1, label 2 and label 3. Now let's add two more labels between the zeros over here and over here. Again, change the font size to 40, text color to white, but this time the text is not going to be 0, it's going to be colon. So, do the same for label 5, font size to 40, text to colon, and text color to white. Now let's add three buttons, one, two, and three. Let's change the first button's text to start, width to fill parent and click on OK. Font size to 20 text color to white and background color to green change the width of second button to fill parent background color to pink font size to 20 text color to white and text to pause change the width of third button to fill parent and click on ok font size to 20 background color to red text color to white 
and text to reset. Change the name of the components in the components section to start btn and click ok button 2 to pause btn click ok and third button to reset btn and click ok at last add a clock from sensor so go to sensors and add a clock it is a non visible component here we are done with the designer section so now let us move on to the block section and code it to create our app click on start button and drag when start button dot click block then click on clock one scroll down and drag set clock one dot time enabled to place it over here then go to logic and drag true place it over here click on pause button and drag when pause button dot click block copy and paste set clock one dot time enable to true place it over here change the true to false now click on reset button and drag when reset button dot click block go to label one scroll down and drag set label one dot text to place it over here go to maths and drag zero place it over here copy and paste it two times place it below each other change this label one to label 2 and this label 1 to label 3 then click on clock 1 and drag when clock 1 dot timer do block and drag if then block from control place it here copy and paste set label 3 dot text to 0 place it below then remove 0 and place it beside go to maths and drag this plus block and place it here then add the 0 in the second space and change it to 1. Click on label 3. Scroll down and drag label 3 dot text. Place it in the first space. Again, click on maths and drag the equal to block. Place it in the if. Copy and paste the label 3 dot text and place it in the first space of the equal to block copy paste the one block place it in the second space of the equal to block and change it to 59 copy paste set label 3 and set label 2 dot text to zero place it in then delete zero from set label two dot 
text. Copy and paste label 3 dot text plus 1. Place it over here. Drag another if then block from control and place it below set label 2 dot text to label 3 dot text plus 1. Copy paste label 3 dot text is equals to 59 and place it in if. Change label 3 to label 2. Copy paste set label 2 dot text to 0 and place it in then. Again copy paste set label 1 dot text to 0 and place it in then below set label 2 dot text to 0. Remove its zero block. Copy paste label 3 dot text plus 1 and place it over here. So that's it and our app is now created. The last step is to now run the code. Go ahead and open your AI companion in your Android device. Click on connect and you will see AI companion. Click it. So this is how the app looks like. When I click on start, you can see that the timer has started. The stopwatch starts. When I click on pause, the stopwatch pauses and when I click on reset, the stopwatch resets. So that's it for today. If you like my video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel to see many more videos. If you have any comments, please do post it in the comment section. And if you find this video was really useful, then why are you waiting? Just share it to your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.